Hello Helldivers and welcome to another Helldivers 2 News and Leagues video. Today we are beating the Automatons, some more Coretta Kelly League broadcasts, testing out of the new mines, some more tests of the Airburst rocket launcher, cool Helldivers 2 merch, confirmed illuminate kills throughout the system, a hotfix confirmation, somebody translated a bit of the Automaton language and more. If you like Helldivers 2 make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers 2 news and leagues videos. Now let's go! Okay, first, as you might know, there's a bunch of websites which connect with the Helldivers 2 API and they can show various data about the game. And some people started noticing something very strange. Illuminate kills start showing up on the map in certain locations that you wouldn't even expect. For example, there have been 16 Illuminate kills on Super Earth and 12 on Cyberstan, which a lot of people are getting thrown off by because, well, it's kind of weird. Do you think devs are testing stuff out? Out because that's what it looks like to me. Considering the current major order about us trying to completely eradicate the automatons, it seems more than likely that we'll face the Illuminate way sooner than expected. We also have a post from Twinbeard, one of the Arrowhead developers right in the Helldivers 2 Discord. He says a hotfix for the crashes is coming, but not over the weekend. Hang in there or perhaps let the game rest for a while. I feel you and I'm glad to hear you love the game, but it will be here waiting even if you let democracy lie for a few days. Him saying to let the game rest for a few days actually sounds like automaton propaganda because we are really close to completing the current major order and wiping out the automatons completely. But knowing that a hotfix is on the way and it should come here soon is actually something very encouraging because even I started getting a few more crashes than usual. So let's get back to that major order because actually overnight we managed to free the second planet on the galactic map which was Tibet. The Severn sector is now 90% completed and that's just beautiful to see because overnight I managed to see a bunch Bunch of people in the discord saying that oh my god finally over 200,000 people were doing the major order and I was just so happy because finally the community started coming together. Only Durgan is left and it's over 60% liberated as of the recording of this video which is just beautiful. People are starting to finally get the hang of bots and realizing that bots are not that scary it's just a little bit uncomfortable that they actually shoot back. Also, even though we didn't manage to reach the stretch goal of my last video for 20,000 views, that's completely okay, maybe I overreached a bit, but at the end of the day, the winner of the giveaway will be in the pinned comment of that last video. I'm saying this because I wanted to also feature this post. One of my friends actually started creating these amazing Helldivers 2 themed coasters. And the nice part about our channel is that he told me that we can use some of these coasters for another giveaway. As you can see the designs are simply incredible and I cannot wait for us to actually get to that giveaway. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to actually make two giveaways. The first one will happen once this channel reaches 1500 subscribers. Currently we are at 1125 so hopefully that will actually happen soon. And the second one will happen once we reach, well a little bit obviously, but 2000 subscribers. So if you've been seeing my videos on your homepage for a while, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Now let's get back to the other stuff. As you can see someone actually managed to translate some of the automaton language. It looks like a weird mix of German-ish and Russian. I'm not really a linguist so if anybody knows better you know make sure you post up in the comments but this is what it looks like to me. But obviously Alexander did a bunch of work to provide us with this translation and I gotta say it's really cool because it gives us even more in-game storytelling which I'm a big fan of. We also have a couple of other reddit videos that I just wanted to share with you guys because I found them either funny or whatever but let's start with Bottle Cape. But what they basically show us is that you can hitch a ride on the civilian rescue ship and it's a really funny video. Bottle Cape does end up getting labeled as a traitor and promptly blown up. And there's a couple of discussions I wanted to start with you guys, so make sure you be active in the comments. Firstly, I wanted to start off with this meme which is pretty funny but actually raises an important point. Why is there a cap for warbond medals which is set to 250? At least double it. And also requisition slips, we already don't use them for that much so after unlocking all the stratagems what do you even do with them? I seen a reddit poster actually suggesting a really cool idea where you could actually donate your extra requisition slips and it's nothing but a number which shows how many you donated. So you don't donate them to other players but instead there's just a number which says you've donated x amount of requisition slips back to the super earth armed forces. It would literally mean nothing and do nothing and it would just be okay that's a weird flex type of situation. So at least having the cap for warbond medals be increased would be really helpful. Then we also have some gameplay of the spear which actually made me think about 
well, what the spear does. And the fact that it actually does pretty much nothing most of the time. I think it's really ridiculous that its lock-on feature just works whenever it wants to. And there is simply no reason to use this stratagem because it's not effective at all for most of the cases. I'm not sure if you've watched my other videos, but if you have, you might remember a leak of a stratagem called the Commando Rocket Launcher that actually tackles this problem much better. You pretty much targeted something, you stay on target and the rocket goes to it. That just makes a lot more sense. Or, you know, fix the auto-targeting. That would also work. We also have Vert the Person with this really interesting take. I think the 500 kg bomb is kinda mid. And they go on to say that compared to other Ego Strikes, it's not that good because Hoax, Tanks, Bio Titans, and sometimes Chargers just take the hit and keep going. What do you think about this take? Because honestly, I don't agree with it that much, but I can see the point. It's just the 500 kg bomb can be a little bit difficult to target, and sometimes, especially if you're fighting a Bio Titan, you need to actually throw it at your feet and then run away so that the Bio Titan can be charging at you and gets hit by the rocket and then the explosion. So let's get into these leaks and if you don't want anything to be spoiled for yourself, uh, I guess this is the part where you can say goodbye, but first make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel. We good? We good. Let's go. First let's talk about those heavy mines. They have a call-in time of 7 seconds, a cooldown of 180 seconds, very high damage, heavy armor penetration, a 5 meter explosion radius. These mines have a very high damage of 1000 and armor penetration value of 5. For comparison, the Quasar Cannon has damage of 650 with an armor penetration value of 6, while the Bio Titan's head has 900 HP and requires an armor penetration value of 5 to be able to damage it. On paper, they do sound really good, but in practice they don't seem that effective. I'm not sure, I've already told you that I don't really like the mines, but at the end of the day, some people do for the area denial. What I can say is that a Hulk needs to go through 4 of these mines in order to actually die, which both sounds like a lot then it doesn't. An automaton tank needs to go through 3 or 4 mines in order to die, which again, same situation as the Hulk, sounds like a lot, but sounds like not that much as well. The thing that I really dislike about them is that they cannot take care of a Bio Titan at all because the Bio Titan is so incredibly tall and its limbs are so narrow that it doesn't even activate the mines. If you try to shoot at them, nothing really happens. And now let's go to the Airburst Rocket Launcher, which is actually a lot better than the mines. Obvious. Its call-in time is 7 seconds, the cooldown is 480 seconds, it has huge AoE and great damage, medium armor penetration, its ammo is 1 plus 5 in the backpack, when you use a refill of resupplies it gets plus 3 and if you use ammo on the ground it gets plus 1. Its range is around 350 meters until it explodes mid-air and it sends smaller cluster bombs that explode also mid-air. It immediately explodes when an enemy is near the rocket projectile. Obviously it takes down packs of enemies very quickly and of course airborne units have nothing on it. It can close down objectives like automaton fabricators or bug holes which is very useful. The interesting part about it is that it can actually take down an annihilator tank with just one shot which is so cool. The bad part about it is that it seems it needs two shots on automaton hoax or terminate chargers in order to take them down. What about bio titans? It seems that it needs at least three shots on them and at that point it's not even worth it so forget about it. And finally we'll close off with another two leaked news broadcasts from Coretta Kelly. One of them is the one about TCS but this time it actually has some animations to it. And the second one is just a little bit of a funny one about enlistment rates. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers 2 content. And I'll see you in the next one. Freedom's greetings, I'm Coretta Kelly. New updates on the backfiring of the TCS in the Meridia system. Here's the latest. A preliminary investigation by the Ministry of Science reveals that the termicide initially worked, quote, as intended, eliminating 99.6% of the terminid population on all barrier planets. However, on Meridia, some of the remaining terminids not only survived, but actually began reproducing up to 20 times faster than before. 
Scientists are now calling the planet a terminid, quote, super colony. The mutations caused by the termicide appear to be random, but according to the report, it is only a matter of time before the same reaction appears on the rest of the barrier planets. The Helldivers may be in a race against time to deactivate the TCS before this occurs. In other news, the disgraced scientists who developed the termicide have been taken into custody and are to be investigated for dissident infiltration. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Freedom's greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Citizens of all ages and classifications are signing up to serve in what is now being called the Second Galactic War. According to reports, nearly 100% of able-bodied citizens have already voluntarily enlisted into the Super Earth Armed Forces. Meanwhile, those who are unable to fight are enthusiastically doing their part, making bullets, armor, toxic gas, and everything else needed for the arsenal of managed democracy. Coming up next, an interview with the artist behind the smash hit, Can't Ration My Love. Stay tuned. Uh-huh. 